Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make any background of your clips brighter, shiny, and add a dreamy look easy in After Effects. Let's begin. First of all we will need to duplicate the clip and then apply a luma key effect on duplicated one. Before we do any changes, make sure to toggle off bottom layer, otherwise luma key won't be affected. Now under a luma key make sure key type is set to key out darker and then begin increasing threshold until darker areas will turn all black. Just make sure that the whites or highlights in your video are not turning black as well, as you see in my case the whites turned black here and it means I messed up with the threshold, I will decrease it until whites will be white again. I guess 20 is enough in my case, and note, do not copy my settings, because the videos are different and my settings won't work for you, I just show you how to use threshold properly and make sure to take your time and make it look the same. Now let's bump up edge feather, I think 100 will look fine. Let's apply curves now. Grab that highlights handle and drag it to the left to bump up bright areas in your clip. Then grab shadows handle and drag it slightly to the right to make darker areas more darker. That looks cool to me and now I will apply a glow. If you have a deep glow plugin, feel free to use it. In case you don't have it, you can use a built-in glow effect. Let's decrease glow threshold. Now bump up glow radius. And finally play around with glow intensity until it looks fine to you. Let's apply last effect, Gaussian blur. Bump up blurriness to around 30. That will add a dreamy look and everything will look better. Since we are done with the effects, we can now toggle on the bottom clip and then we will need to change blending mode of a top layer to a screen. Click on toggle switches slash modes and change mode to screen. Now press T on a keyboard and in case your video is too bright, you will be able to control the whole effect by decreasing the opacity. I will leave it at 100% and now final touch is left, select a rectangle tool from here and mask background like that. Now press F on a keyboard and bump up mask feather and then we can check the effect. Everything looks just amazing, I'm happy with the results. In case it's too bright, feel free to press T on a keyboard and decrease the opacity until you will be satisfied with the effect and we are done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.